You know what the business is. But lots of every business. Top to activity business. Facts or no fallacy. Um, I know I've been gone for a little bit. Facts or... <clears throat> but... Um, y'all really wouldn't believe where I was at. Right? Y'all probably would, though, but... This like really the unthinkable, you know what I'm saying? Like you just wouldn't think, like you probably like shit. Isn't probably locked up, you know what I'm saying? He probably got in the jam right quick or some shit. He be out, uh, you know, ain't no telling, you know, nigga probably ain't no telling what negative, what negative mindset, you know, what negative, what a negative person may think or could have thought, but. I'm just gonna get to it, you know what I'm saying? Factual. They had me in a mental hospital. Yeah, they did that to me. They they jammed me up. I was at Walmart and um I basically like felt some type of way. So I was really letting people know how I felt. And um I really didn't threaten nobody, but somebody called and said somebody called nine one one and said that I was threatening people. I think they were saying I was going to kill him or shoot him or stab him or something like that, but I never said any of that, and the police didn't have no proof of that. But um, I'm out now, and I they, they really made it seem like they didn't want to let me go. Like, they really handled me like that. Like And they know I don't have no mental issues. I'm sorry, I know there isn't. For long story, every business, top tech activity business. And no lie. Nobody's perfect. We may have, some individuals may have mental breakdowns and some individuals have anger issues and they can mistake it for a mental illness. But it's not me. I don't have no mental illness. I prove to these people I don't have any mental illnesses. I Nothing's wrong with me. So I'm here right now to let y'all know that y'all got to be careful. Y'all don't just have jail to deal with. These people will put y'all in a mental institution. And for y'all that, that don't know, a mental institution is where they put people that have mental issues, that don't function accurately, that don't think accurately. People that's going through um, or may be in situations where they can't function or be in society on their own. They need supervision. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say that y'all got to be careful out here because people will lie on y'all and say y'all did something that y'all didn't do and the police will believe it and they will put you in that situation. So long story short, this is what happened though. I'm going to break it down and give y'all a small summary of what happened and let y'all know some of the ideas I came up with while I was in there and how I feel like it was a eye-opener for me because I've never been in no situation like that. They never put me in no mental hospital. You know what I'm saying? The most I ever did was some time in jail or in a penitentiary. So I ain't never thought, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know New Orleans did that. I ain't know New Orleans had a, um, I didn't know New Orleans had a um, mental hospital and they put people in mental hospitals and I, didn't, I don't know if they do that state to state. I don't know. That's something I never knew about. But now we're here and I can talk about it because I experienced it. And um, long story short, I got a lawsuit. Factual. I definitely got a lawsuit. I got a lawsuit. I ain't going to need to talk about who I got a lawsuit on, but we just going to put it together and y'all figure out who I got a lawsuit on. So the thing is, the police got me at... Um, they got me at Walmart. So I think once they made the call, the police came up on me, you know what I'm saying? Told me, put my hands behind my back. They got my backpack off of me. And um, I had items in my backpack, but I didn't steal anything. So they couldn't get me for stealing. And they tried to read me my rights, but I didn't do anything. So they was reading me my rights before they even told me the crime I committed. So that's not how that go. If y'all know, y'all know. But 
if y'all don't know, y'all, if the police approach you, they have to be approaching you for a crime you committed, something you done, or something someone said that you done. Should no cop be reading you their rights? I mean, reading you your rights if you didn't commit any crimes. When you're being read your rights, that's because you're being arrested for a crime you committed. Factual. So, um, I didn't even get my rights read to me because I was really trying to get to the point. She was trying to read me my rights and I'm like, what did I do? Tell me what crime I committed. And she couldn't tell me what crime I committed. So what I did was, they was like, come on, come with us. I'm like, man, what did I do? Y'all gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? Take me, it's, it's that with me. I'm not finna just go with y'all and y'all didn't tell me, y'all not telling me what I did. So they basically detained me, put me in the back of the car, you know what I'm saying? The police tried to say I stole something. I ain't steal nothing. I didn't walk out the store with any items. I didn't do anything wrong. So, um, it was like, basically long story short, I'm really up there asking these people, what did I do? And um, they basically rolled past the jail, rolled past the street that takes us to the jail and she was like, we going to the hospital. So me, I'm knowing that these police from Huntsville, Alabama. So I'm like, y'all from Huntsville? That's what I'm asking, are y'all from Huntsville too? Cause that's who I was talking to. I, that's who I was letting my, that's who I was expressing myself to, the people from Huntsville, Alabama, that's following me and playing with me and shit. So the thing is, I'm like, man, y'all need to, you know what I'm saying? Get out my city, you know what I'm saying? Get out my state for real, for y'all get dealt with, out here playing with me. Cause everywhere I go, my tire is getting flat. Everywhere I go, somebody playing with me, trying to piss me off and provoke me to do something. So I'm really fed up with this shit. And I'm not really the type of person to call the police on you or say something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to call the police and say, somebody keep flattening my tire. I'm not going to call the police and say, somebody keep trying to provoke me everywhere I go because it's different people that's fucking with me. And I'm not no police-ass nigga. I don't just... I don't do that at all. I do not call 911. 911 is not in my contact list. You know what I'm saying? 911 is not on speed dial for me. So, um, facts so that like that's what happened. Like long story short, they took me to the hospital. So when they take me to the hospital, the police get in there and she say, yeah, they say he's threatening to shoot and stab people, and he's saying that I'm from Huntsville, Alabama, when I'm not. So I'm like, your energy don't lie. You know what I'm saying? I know where you from. Your energy don't lie. So I don't know why they just think they could just come out here. Y'all just letting us, in, let them infiltrate our city and fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. I know my city went, I'm, I'm not saying all y'all, but y'all know what the business is. I ain't finna do all that talking. You know, like we already know what the business is with Sinodaism. You know what I'm saying? How they handling me, how they trying to deal with me, how they trying to do me, but it is what it is. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even finna complain. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like opening some wine right now. So I'm finna go pop this bottle of wine. I feel like drinking right now. So I'm finna go ahead and pop this bottle of wine while I talk to y'all. But facts with though, what the business is, um, what they basically done though, right? They put me in the hospital. Um, they basically put me in the hospital and they got me to talk to the doctors. So the doctors up there, I'm talking to the doctors, explaining to the doctors what happened. Off the rip, it was a, they, they started to take my blood, you know what I'm saying? Like off the rip, they ain't even, you know what I'm saying? They went in for my blood. They, they, so I'm like, damn, this is what y'all gonna do? So y'all gonna force me to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna take my blood like that. They stuck something in, then they left the shit in me. Like, I, I took the shit out myself. They left it in me. They they stuck me with something, got my blood, left it in there. So I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So this was all on type shit. I couldn't even toss or turn or nothing. I had to sit the things on my chest and all that. Like, they were supposed to take that off of me once they realized I was straight. They supposed to, once they get that blood, they don't supposed to leave that 
needle inside of you. They had the needle sitting inside of me. They ain't even hit the wood. They ain't even hit no vein. Factual. I'm like, damn. Like, what the business said with this shit, right? So I'm just in that motherfucker feeling some type of way. I fucked around, dozed off. I was in there a whole day. I was in there like 24 hours. I woke up the next day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was in there like down to 72 hours, I think. I, yeah, I think I was in there like 72 hours before they shipped me. So I talked to the, it was a Vegas doctor walked in there. Factual, it was a Vegas doctor. It was a doctor from Vegas that walked in there. And I think he had asked me, was I from Vegas? And I'm like, nah, I ain't from Vegas. I knew he was from Vegas. I ain't even asked him. Cause they, they saying I'm crazy just for telling people where I'm from and where they from and shit. You know what I'm saying? When I know where you from, cause your energy not lying to me. So I'm just like, damn, that shit irked me. And they definitely took my life too. I definitely don't have my knife in my bag. That shit irks me, like, fat so. But um, the thing is, right? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, they they left they left the needle in me. Wait, I already said that. So the basically long story short, how it goes is you they take you to the hospital to get mentally evaluated and then they decide if you're gonna go to the mental institution from the hospital. So that's what had happened. They decided that that I was gonna go to the mental hospital when I basically broke down everything. I told them about how they were trying to make me sex work. Vegas, I mean, Huntsville people following me around, flattening my tires and um, basically stuff like that. So hold on, let me open this champagne bottle real quick. So basically that's what they said though. I mean, that's what I told them. And he looked like he wasn't surprised or nothing. That would be that would be irking me. They be looking like they ain't even surprised. Like they know what the business is. Like this man looked at me like so. I'm like, I'm like they followed me to New Orleans. I'm like I've been moving around. I'm like I went to Atlanta. I went to Vegas. I went to um. I was in California, and they basically was following me around and shit. So, um, hold on. It basically, yeah. I'm trying to tell them what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Letting them know what the business is. That's all I was really trying to do. And on um, long story short, they sent me to the mental hospital. So when they done that, I get up in there. They, you know what I'm saying? They transport me to the mental hospital, which is like right around the corner. So once they did that. And um, I got up in there, like it was a whole different ball game. Like they was talking, like we were basically doing fundamental shit in there. You know what I'm saying? They had something called group where we be talking about certain things and they'll get our opinion and everybody has something to say or whatever like that. But yeah, it was like, That's what it was, man. I couldn't believe that shit. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I couldn't believe that shit at all. I was like, damn, man. I couldn't believe that shit at all. I ain't gonna even lie. But it's like they didn't want to really, but oh yeah, before though, before they sent me to the hospital, right? Before they had sent me to the hospital, it was like two doctors that walked in there and it was acting like it was a woman doctor and a man doctor. And they was acting like um, they couldn't find my name for some reason. Like they couldn't find my information. And I'm tripping, they, I, they had that energy like they tried to make me think I got kidnapped or some shit. I'm telling you, they made me think like I was about to get kidnapped. All, that, all of it documented, all of it on the camera now. It's definitely on the camera. They walked up in there, like, yeah, your name is Cornell Coleman, but we can't find your paperwork. We can't find you in the system at all. So I'm like, what? Y'all got me fucked all the way up. What y'all mean y'all can't find me in the system? I was born here. Why wouldn't y'all be able to find me in the system? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. I 
don't know why it's so hard to open this damn wine bottle, man. Damn. But yeah, they like, yeah, we can't find you in the system. And um, I don't know why two doctors had to walk in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why two doctors had to walk in there and play with me like that, but that shit crazy, man. Hold on. Facts with no fallacy, though. Like, I don't know what the business was with that. You know what I'm saying? They, they really been playing with me, like, for real, and it's proof. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could go back and watch the doc. Y'all could go back and watch it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely can go back and watch the cameras and see that them people came in there and played with me like that. They really came in there and done me like that. But um, long story short, though, I'm going to try to make this like 30 minutes. Long story short, once, like, after that, they had transport, and there was people from Vegas, too. I know for sure one of the women, one of the women from Vegas. Y'all know how Vegas rock. Y'all know what the business is. We ain't gonna do too much talking. But, um, she come through there. I mean, they transport me, so they asking me questions, you know what I'm saying, when I get to the other one, when I get to the other spot. And um, when I get to the other spot, I'm drinking 19 crowns, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I had this in the refrigerator. I was going to drink this when I got back to the crib, but I didn't make it back. And fucking around, it was end up gone down there two weeks. Fucking around with these people. And they know I don't got no mental issues. But um, long story short, we went to the other. We went to the other spot. When we get to the other spot, we get to the ocean. The ocean spot, um, right around the corner from whatever the hospital is. I can't even think of the hospital right now. So they questioning me. Long story short, I'm letting these people know. You could tell by the way I'm talking, like I don't have no mental issues, nothing wrong with me. The doctor shouldn't even, the police shouldn't even took me to the hospital and the doctor shouldn't even sent me to the mental institution from the hospital. You see what I'm saying? I should have never went over there. It shouldn't have never been like that. That shouldn't have never happened. Like it shouldn't have never happened, but it happened and it is what it is. And long story short, I keep saying long story short because I'm trying to give y'all a little summary because it's a lot that occurred within these almost two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So, um, where was I at with it? Yeah, I got to the other spot. Basically, long story short, they put me in the system. You know what I'm saying? Tried to give me medication. I still got the medication over here. They, they still, like, even though I'm telling these people I don't have mental issues, I don't need medication, they still sending me to the, they still calling me for pill call. You know what I'm saying? They gave me these, these, these pills that they gave me. You know what I'm saying? That I'm not finna take, but I'm finna keep this for when we go to court. So they, and y'all y'all know, if y'all don't know, y'all, y'all will know if y'all pay attention to how these people they got mental issues or that be on medication is or are, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not one of those individuals. I'm not finna be taking medication and, you know what I'm saying? So they they had me see the doctor, you know what I'm saying? The doctor questioned me and I'm telling these people what the business is. I'm telling them like, yeah, I wasn't supposed to be in here. I'm telling them people following me and Trying to make, you know what I'm saying? People trying to make me sex work and keep me broke and following me from state to state, begging people not to work with me, not to deal with me. And these people look like they're not, they wasn't surprised. They, they look like this story just normal. Like they hear this shit every day. And that's how they were looking at me. You know, people were looking at me like, oh yeah, oh well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is type shit. 
Like, and I'm like, damn, y'all act like this shit normal. It's not normal to me. It's not normal to me. But long story short, though, a nigga was disrespecting me. The disrespect in New Orleans is playing with us. So I fucked around and really got fed up. A bitch was in there talking crazy to me. Like, it was just crazy. So I really had to handle my business. We ain't gonna even get too much into that. So they had, like, I had to handle my business, long story short. And um, I fucked around and they gave me a shot when I wasn't even aggressive or nothing. I was calm. They still try to, they still gave me a shot and they put me to sleep. So I fucked around, woke up, sedated, and they moved me. They ain't even want to take me to jail. See, I did that because I thought, besides me being disrespected, I was thinking that they was going to take me to jail. I'm like, fuck it. I go to jail. I do 12 hours and get out. The police ain't even want to take me to jail. And that's how I knew for sure that they were trying to keep me in this mental institution and making me deal with these people. You know what I'm saying? They was making, trying to really force me to deal with people that got mental issues. You know, some of us didn't have no mental issues, but some of us, some of them did. And some of them was talking shit like they was tough and they were gangster, being disrespectful and playing with me. Like it ain't that with me. Like I'm not really that type of nigga or something. I don't know. But it really irked me though. And I really tried to be patient with these people. I tried to be patient with the doctors. Matter of fact, I was patient. That's how I got out. Like some niggas get in these situations and end up catching the prison sentence. You know what I'm saying? End up doing something stupid and not getting out. But I handled my business accurately, accordingly, and I got out. That's why I'm here now. So, yeah, it was really unbelievable that I was in a situation like that. But that just goes to show you how you could just step outside your house or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You could just be going to the store and fuck around and don't make it back. You fuck around, get locked up. Fuck around, get put in a mental institution. This shit serious out here, y'all. Like, factual. Like, this shit. And these people will have you in there and do not give a fuck about how your people feel. Do not give a fuck about if you the man of the house or the woman of the house. These people will have you in this, in a mental institution and do not give a fuck. Have you in there knowing you don't have mental issues? Factual. That really what that really will happen. So y'all gotta be cautious and be careful and move strategic in these streets. Cause I never would have thought that that day or any day that I would be in a mental institution. I'm just being real with y'all, like factual. Like I got the proof. I got the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got the paperwork. This the this the Ocean Drive right here. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got the paperwork. And they know I don't have mental issues. I prove to these people I don't have mental issues. You know if somebody have mental issues or not, especially if you a specialist. You know what I'm saying? But this is Ocean, Ocean's Healthcare. You know what I'm saying? Ocean's Healthcare. They gave me medicine to take, knowing I'm, I don't take medicine, knowing I don't need no medicine. I'm very um, mentally stable. I do not have no mental illnesses. I do not have no sexual transmitted diseases. Y'all, that's one thing I can say that's good about this situation. I did get checkups. They got my blood drawn. I drawn, they drawn my blood, made sure I was straight. You know what I'm saying? The doctors will tell y'all, Islam do not have no mental illness no mental illnesses or sexual transmitted diseases. Factual, that's one thing that's good about it. And I came up with some ideas too, you know what I'm saying? So remember I told y'all about the Vegas apartments? Yeah, so the Vegas apartments, I got the name for the Vegas apartments. We are gonna call the Vegas apartments Rogues. Factual, that's, that's what we gonna be at in Vegas. Like, that's the apartments in Vegas. We gonna be at the houses too. But the apartments in Vegas, roguish, that's what we, you know what I'm saying? Factual, roguish apartments. But we ain't gonna say roguish apartments. It's gonna be roguish. On the sign, it's gonna say roguish. Factual, that's what we doing. And I got the website too for Hive. Um, 
I came up with, you know what I'm saying? When y'all in these situations, you know what I'm saying? If you a street intellect or you just an intellect and you come up with ideas, write them down, man. Don't be just sitting there thinking about stuff and you ain't writing it down. Like, write it down. Faster. It, it might be a million dollar idea that you put on that paper that you could utilize when you get out. Faster. So, the, um, what's it called? The website. Because y'all don't think y'all gonna be able to just come to the brothel in Vegas. Like, y'all just gonna pull up. Y'all not just pulling up to the brothel. We gonna have a whole chat. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all gonna be able to conversate with the women. Y'all gonna be able to, you know what I'm saying? Once y'all lock in and y'all get a membership or however it's gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna go to www.vegasvoluntuaries.com. And there, y'all gonna be able to book tickets for Hive. Y'all gonna be able to book tickets for Splash. Y'all gonna be able to, you know what I'm saying? Get coupons or, you know what I'm saying? Get discounts for coolies. Everything that's going on with the voluntaries, y'all gonna be able to lock in at www.vegasvoluntuaries.com. So we gonna put everything together. Facts with no fallacy, voluntary business. Top to activity business. So um, I, I ain't gonna say like, I'm totally regretful of the situation because I'm used to getting locked up and you know what I'm saying? I get locked up. When I used to get locked up in Huntsville, Alabama, I'd be waiting six months to go to court. You know what I'm saying? So this little week, you know, this little two, you know what I'm saying? Going on two weeks, I did, you know, it just was a reevaluation for me. You know what I'm saying? And me just to go through a situation that's an eye opener. And also I came out with, I came up with this movie, you know what I'm saying, I want to do. And we're going to call it MI, and that's short for Mental Institution, right? And it's going to be like, because back in the day, when you had mental issues, they used to pull up and, like, really throw you in a, like, I ain't going to say throw you in a car, but them, like, arrest you type shit and take you to the mental institution. Factual. Y'all with y'all ain't turning yourself in. They come and get y'all ass. Y'all in a community doing stupid shit, retarded shit. They definitely gonna pull up. They probably got videos of that shit. So they'll pull up. You know what I'm saying? Like knock on your door. You know what I'm saying? Knock on the door. Woo the woo. Yeah, that's how we gonna pull. That's how we gonna pull up in the movie. <laughs> We gonna catch the ass at the grocery store and all that shit. <laughs> we gonna say, oh, such and such. Oh yeah, we've been looking for you. We the um, what I said, we the mental institution indicators. That's what we gonna. That's what we gonna call it, mental institution indicators. And we definitely come and get y'all. If y'all parents be tripping and shit, they be doing stupid shit. Factual, y'all gonna be able to report. Y'all gonna be able to call us. We gonna get y'all the card. It's gonna be a number y'all can dial. And y'all gonna say, yeah, my mama, she be tripping. She be doing this and doing that. My daddy, he be tripping. My uncle, my cousin. Like, they be tripping at the house, man. I think something wrong with them. And we definitely gonna investigate them. And if we know that they got mental issues and they tripping on y'all, we definitely gonna come get them. And we definitely gonna put them in the hospital and get them mentally evaluated. And we gonna... Handle that business, street business. We ain't on no police shit. We don't give a fuck. We gonna be mentally evaluating those street niggas too. Y'all niggas that be trapping and all that, doing all that extra shit, we, de we will definitely come get y'all. We don't give a fuck about what's in y'all trap or none of that. It ain't none of our business. But when you around here doing things that indicates that you have a mental illness, we definitely gonna come get you. If your nigga feel like he concerned about you, you tripping, he might hit me up like, Ism. Man, my nigga been tripping, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really kind of worried. Like, we might need to, you know what I'm saying? Get him mentally evaluated and then make sure he's straight because he might fuck around, flash out, or he fuck around and do something stupid. I might have to kill him. But, you know what I'm saying? We trying to prevent all that shit from happening because we the mental illness indicators. Fact, so we gonna pull up on some street shit. 
real street nigga business. Facts so, But I just wanted to let y'all know what the business is. I tried to sum it up to 30 minutes. They had me in a mental institution. Facts so, no fallacy. I'm back home now. I'm about to chill out, get me some sleep. Pop out a little later on after the sun go down. But bogus. I mean, not bogus. I apologize. I ain't seen. But I was about to say bossier. You know what I'm saying? I got a song I'm about to write about bossier. So y'all stay tuned later on when I get up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to write a song about bossy. Well, I'm not going to write a song. I'm going to freestyle it. And you know, talk about some of my other ideas that I came up with for his songs, because I came up with some songs I want to work on as well. So, um, yeah, that's about it, you know, for us that. I'm not finna talk too much about it. You know, y'all can figure out who I got a lawsuit on and who I don't got a lawsuit on. I'm definitely finna be looking for a lawyer so we could talk about this. And um, factual, I came up with some great ideas and y'all could be mental illness indicators as well. You know what I'm saying? Don't be thinking that just because a nigga tripping or something that, you know what I'm saying? They just tripping. They might really have a mental issue and y'all need to really indicate that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Point that shit out. Like, man, you been tripping. You know what I'm saying? You might, something might be wrong with you. You might need to separate yourself from those individuals because it's real, man. Y'all think just because a bitch pretty or a nigga handsome that they don't got no mental issues. Looks don't got nothing to do with your thought process. Factual. No fallacy. But um, y'all know it's the lunch of every business, top activity business. Get at me, I'm going to get at y'all. Y'all know what the business is. We all at the peak of the hierarchy, man. Factual, no fallacy. Yeah.